Hi everyone, we have a great facial called Everything's Coming Up Roses, and Lucas was generous enough to allow me to demonstrate this facial on him. Now don't adjust your monitors, we have sped up the facial video a little bit, so it does appear to be a faster motion than I would normally use, but that's just to save some time on the shortened video. If you want to watch the full video at normal speed, we do have that link here for you for our YouTube channel. The first step of this facial is the Rose Petal Cleansing Milk. Remember we can apply our cleansing milks to dampened skin or to dry skin. We can manipulate it gently on the surface to remove that surface debris and it is our makeup remover. So if your guest is wearing eye makeup, you can use this on a saturated cotton round to remove mascara, uh, eyeliner, anything that they may have on the surface of their skin. Remember if it's a gentleman's facial that we are manipulating the skin in downward motions. We don't want to go up against the grain or the growth of that hair because it can be very uncomfortable for his skin. So while we're generally moving in upward motions on a female guest, for gentlemen we do want to make sure that our motions are mostly in a downward motion. We remove our cleansing milk with a warm steam towel. If you prefer sponges or dampened 4x4s, of course, whatever option you're most comfortable with. I prefer my steam towels. So we want to be sure that we're removing this product and then we get our deeper cleanse with the second step. The second step of this facial treatment is the nettle exfoliating wash simply because this facial was designed for drier skin. If your guest has oily skin or sensitive skin you can absolutely use the mineral exfoliating wash instead or if they simply prefer you can use the refreshing mint. Any option is fine. But just remember with your exfoliating wash that you are adding a little bit of water to the product before you apply it to the skin. We want to be sure that we are emulsifying that in the palm of our hand before we apply it to the skin. And as we're applying, if we discover that we need a little more slip and it's not spreading that well, we can add just a smidge more water. This is where we're getting that deep cleanse because our exfoliating wash is a very alkaline cleanser. The exfoliating washes are about a 9.5 to 10 on the pH scale, so they're really doing a great job of opening those pores and getting a nice deep cleanse. Because we are getting such a nice deep cleanse with this alkaline cleanser, we want to be sure that we're not putting it near the eye area. It can be quite irritating if we get this in the eyes. Because it is also very alkaline, we want to be sure that we're balancing the pH of the skin after we remove this. Remember, we're washing the face off with a pH or a water with a pH of about a 7, and it's an alkaline cleanser. So the skin is going to be a little too alkaline for the next step unless we use our toner to balance. So after we've removed our exfoliating wash, we're going to tone. The toner option for this facial is, of course, the Rose Petal Toner. Toners can be misted gently onto the skin. You can use a saturated cotton round to swipe the skin. Or you can put a little pool in the palm of your hand and gently press it into the skin. I like to mist it. I think it's very refreshing during the facial for the guest. You only need to do about two or three pumps of the toner as well. So I think you tend to use a lot less product when we mist. Step four of the facial is going to be our exfoliation. Rose hip exfoliator is the option in this particular facial. I love my rose hip exfoliator. It is really beneficial for most skin conditions. It has ground cornmeal, so we get a nice mechanical exfoliation. It also has about 5% lactic acid in the creamy base, so you get a little bit of chemical as well. You can leave this one on for up to 10 minutes and let it set and then manipulate it to remove it. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to remove it uh, as a scrub. Be sure to get in that nose area really well because we do tend to collect a lot of debris and dead skin right around our nostrils. So be sure when you're manipulating that skin that you're paying special attention to that area. Now a lot of people with beards tend to neglect the skin under the beard because it's just hard to get it clean. <laughs> so we want to be sure that we are paying attention and we are pampering that skin on his cheeks and chin just as much as we are the rest of his face. We just want to be certain that while we're removing the exfoliant that we're getting it all out of that facial hair. We don't want to leave layers and layers of products in that facial hair for our guest. 
Again, warm steam towels is my preferred method of removal, but you are welcome to use whatever you like, be it sponges, dampened four by fours, even just a washcloth, whatever makes you happy. And we'll remove that exfoliant. And then the next step again is to tone. Rose petal toner is what we'll use. And then generally we follow this step with the facial massage and extractions if necessary. Remember to always tone again after extractions. For the purposes of this video, we have cut that portion out just to save a little time. And we're gonna move straight into the treatment mask. Beneath my treatment masks, I love to place a little of the hyaluronic elixir. The hyaluronic elixir is kind of a drink of water for dehydrated skin. Great for all skin conditions. It's very fast absorbing, so it works really, really well even on an oily complexion. Now Lucas takes incredible care of his skin. He has very, very healthy skin. So for him, I don't really need as much of that as I would someone who doesn't pay as much attention to their skin, but I used about a quarter of a dropper. You will rarely need more than a half a dropper, however, because this is a very potent product. So even if someone doesn't take great care of their skin or if they're incredibly dry, half a dropper should be sufficient. I like to put it on underneath the treatment mask because that mask helps to push it deeper into the skin. And especially with this treatment, we're using that nettle and algae treatment uh, to heat it up. We're enhancing that circulation for better absorption. It's gonna really push that hyaluronic deeper into the skin. We're gonna use about a quarter of a teaspoon of facial treatment mask and only one pump of the nettle and algae treatment. We're gonna apply it evenly over Lucas's skin and after a couple of minutes, we're gonna notice an enhanced circulation. He's gonna get nice and pink as his circulation increases. He tends to get a little bit tingly with this treatment, but it's not as hot on him as some of the other catalyst treatments are, but everybody's skin responds a little bit differently. So be certain to let your guests know they might feel a warming, they might feel a tingling, and that's completely normal. After we've left this on for a few minutes, you will notice, here we are about 12 minutes after application, how nice and pink his skin is. We have done a great job getting that circulation, moving and shaking, so that he is absorbing all of those wonderful nutrients that are in the treatment mask. It's also gonna help, help to enhance the absorption of the rest of the products that we're putting on after the treatment mask removal. Now remember, his face has been warmed up and then it starts to cool down a little bit once we hit about 15 minutes. We don't wanna reheat that skin again by using a warm steam towel. So for the removal of any of the Catalyst products, we wanna be sure that we're using a cool or a room temperature towel. The towel that we used here, I had just had sitting out the whole time during the facial. So it was room temperature, but it felt a little bit cold on his skin uh, after everything else that we've done. Because this treatment mask has the visible pulps, it is one that we've got to pay special attention to that beard, make sure we get all of those rose petals out of that beard. Otherwise, he's gonna walk around with, with the little sticky beard for the rest of the day. So we wanna be sure that we get all of that product out. And you can see that nice pinking of his skin, that beautiful, healthy, rosy glow. The next step of the facial then is going to be our serum application. This is the beginning of the hydration phase. Skin Power is the serum that's recommended for this facial. Flaxseed and vitamin F are two of the main ingredients. This serum helps to strengthen the skin, it stimulates collagen, and it also deeply hydrates. If you have a guest that's very, very oily or someone who's sensitive, you can always switch and use the Rose Hip Serum instead. If the skin power is going to be too heavy for their skin, you can definitely opt for that Rose Hip. About a half a pump is all you're going to need, even if you're going down the neck and the decollete area, area because the serums are so concentrated. This particular facial, because it is the Everything's Coming Up Roses facial, we do have the Rose Petal Whipped Moisturizer as the moisturizing option. However, we've used that one on Lucas's skin before and his skin does not like that one. So we are opting for the Rose Hip Moisturizer, the Rose Hip Whipped Moisturizer on his skin to complete this facial. We should really only need about a half a pump of moisturizer for his face if we are doing a neck and decollete treatment as well with our guest continuing that all the way down one full pump should be all that we need of course if you have a larger guest you may use a little bit more product but just kind of keep that in mind that on average you're going to be using um, about a pump
after the moisturizer application, we do want to be sure that that skin is protected before he leaves the treatment room. So we will apply the tomato face and body moisturizer for exposed skin. And we always want to be certain that our guest leaves uh, with nice hydrated lips as well. So whichever of the three lip balms is your guest's favorite, we want to be sure that we apply that. At the end of our facial, we want to have some sort of a ritual to allow our guests to know that the service is over. We want to encourage them to be sure that they're drinking plenty of water throughout the rest of the day as this is a very um, stimulating facial option. We want to help to detox their skin and their system, so we'll make sure that they're drinking plenty of water. And then we will escort them to the retail boutique and discuss their at-home care with them immediately following the service. But look at that great glow. Look at that healthy, rosy glow on Lucas's skin. This is what we get with our beautiful Nettle and Algae Catalyst product. If you have questions, contact the office. And again, for the full version of this facial, feel free to click on the YouTube link and you can watch the full version at normal speed. Thanks for watching. Live beautifully.